Zoids. A franchise I really never thought I would cover on this channel, but honestly, I think I really owe a lot to Zoids. Not because I was really into the franchise or anything back in my youth, but I had a lot of friends that were into it, and even now I have a lot of subscribers that absolutely love the franchise. So that's why I felt that this month should be dedicated to Zoids, to all my friends as well as my fellow subscribers. Now, I did review the Takarotomi Rising Liger, that is a mechanical one that actually walks and has a lot of motions, but this time around, I actually built an HMM Liger Zero from Kotobukiya. Now, first impressions, I had to have this kit. I really loved it ever since I seen, you know, I was kind of browsing through the catalogs of all the HMM Kotobukiya kits, and I seen this one, so instantly I was like, this has to be the first kit I built. So I went ahead, purchased it. Unfortunately, I don't think I was going to be getting it anytime soon. I got the Schneider first, which is just a different armor swap of the Liger Zero. However, I received this one a day after I received that particular model, and I was so happy because I was like, yes, I can actually start Zoid's month off on the right foot, and which I did. So now I'm actually going to be giving it a proper paint job, and here I'm just going to talk about some of the different things about the kits, such as articulation, size, details, and everything else in between. Now I won't cover every single little detail on this kit, I'm mostly just going to glance over a lot of the key parts because if I went and just showed you every single detail, we would be here for a minute. So I'm going to go and just do a little brush over of certain things that I think are the most important parts of this kit. So starting with the head unit, obviously this is going to look really good. I love, it has a bunch of different panels just riddled all over the kit. And also here in the front, there is going to be a cockpit. So not sure if that's actually supposed to be bit cloud, but it is a pilot nonetheless. So that is going to be something to uh, paint. And then obviously the eyes are going to be a clear orange. Another little neat thing is that there's gonna be a lot of vents all over the head. So if you really wanna paint some of this up, you can definitely do so, whether it's going to be on the uh, inside right here for the front, or it's going to be on the side of the head. Now, not only the neck, but also parts on the legs and body is going to have a lot of gold pipings and hydraulics. So if you really want to just straight build this and that's it, it's going to look good with that alone. Now for the legs, you are going to have a lot of mechanical details built into it. You're going to have some red here for the joints. The gold for the actual claws are pretty dulled down. I'm not a fan of it, so obviously I'm going to paint it a little bit brighter, um, and I'm going to be putting it in a strike laser claw mode, so this is going to be super bright. But um, yeah, it's just going to have some very basic white parts for the armor, and then the inner frame is going to be a kind of blackish. Eh, it's not necessarily metallic in any means, but um, it kind of has like a little gloss shine to it. Now for the back, you are going to have some of these like little fin stabilizers right there. You are going to have the thrusters, and one key thing to note is I have metal thrusters on mine. The reason being is because there's a little plastic piece that goes right in the center of that, but I lost one of them. And I was like, you know what, I cannot have just a miss missing piece. So I busted out my 8mm uh, uh, metal thruster parts and they fit in perfectly, almost as if they were created for it. So. It looks really good and it turned out great. So for articulation, we are gonna have a lot of parts all over this kit, so unfortunately, I may like skip something accidentally or I might not uh, push something to its limits. Uh, that's just because there's a lot of moving parts all over this kit, uh, but I will do my best to show you everything. So start with the head, this part is going to go up and we're also gonna have these sides right here. They can actually come out. Now this is actually supposed to be for the strike laser claw mode. You've seen the cockpit open already. The mouth can open up. You do have this piece underneath that actually can move up and down, but um, I guess that's just for extending the range of movement for the actual neck. The neck can rotate, can move back and forth, as well as up and down. The shoulders have their own separate range of movement. This front part can actually open up as well. Now the shoulder is pretty much on a hinge as well as this like ball joint type of mechanism. Uh, so there's going to be a little bit of movement right there. This joint right here can actually move quite a ways up. And there's going to be two different points of articulation. You got the uh, ball joint right inside here. And then this is just going to be like on a little hinge. So there's going to be quite a ways of movement that you can actually put this in. For the body, there's going to be two different points of articulation, one right inside here and then one right here. So um, you can definitely get a 
good bend with that. The hind legs is going to be in the same kind of mechanism. Um, it's going to have that little joint right inside there. Now the hind legs are going to be a little bit different. Uh, this is going to be the same in terms of the little armor right here. This can kind of just move all around. Uh, but this is just going to be on like the little ball joint. So that's not going to be able to come out too, too far. This joint right here can actually move back pretty far. You're also going to have this joint right inside here, which can move forward a little bit. And the foot is going to be on the same kind of mechanism as the front legs, uh, so ball joint and can move front and back. Now for the tail, it's going to be made up of three different points right here. Uh, it's basically going to be a pipe and then this can move forward or uh, backwards. So it's a little bit awkward, it's not very um, like fluid, but it still does its job if you really want to angle it any kind of certain way. And then the tip of the tail is going to be a cannon, so you can kind of, whoops, <laughs> See, if you don't hold on to the base of it, it is going to pop out. So whenever you're like posing it, please just hold on to the base and uh, you can actually pose it with the tail moving forward or backwards. And that little cannon can actually do its job. And you're gonna have a little flap right here. This can actually rotate up and down. Now the thrusters actually have a way of moving. You just open this up and you can pull this out. And the fins can actually move as well, rotate it down and then you just pull it out. Now the only weapon that Zoid actually really carries is going to be a twin barrel gun which can rotate around and it's going to be molded in a really nice brown. For height comparisons here he is next to the high grade RX-78-2 and the master grade RX-78-2. Now this is going to come with some water slides so I'm probably just going to stick with the zero but you're more than welcome to use as many as you want on your kit. And there is a few extra parts that's going to be extra so don't really worry about that if you do see these extra parts with your kit. So for my final thoughts on this kit, it is fantastic, simply and utterly fantastic. I cannot wait to build another Liger Zero. That's how much fun this kit was, that I don't feel that this is really gonna be repetitive. Is it gonna be very long-winded of a build? Sure, it took me quite a few days, I think maybe about three or four days to build this kit, and um, yeah, that's what breaks in between everything, but man, it was a, a lengthy build to say the least. However, the final result is something that is just so beautiful, even in a out-of-box form. I cannot wait to paint this because I think I can bring out all the details and I can really make it shine on the shelf. But that's it for me, guys. Uh, definitely appreciate all of you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you have not already. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next Zoids video. Bye-bye.